Yo, 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 what's good, baby? It's your boy Flint Floor, CF. Floors, Flint Flow, double international known. And welcome to another episode of that Flint Floor, C Floors cast where I talk my shit and not give a diz a damn. Not give a diz a damn. I don't give a damn. You know how I do. Keep it 1,000, man. I keep it 1,000 like 999 plus one. Your fizz deals me. So, um, they say, Flossy, where you been at? Flossy, where you been at, huh? Got things to do and ladies to screw. Oh, zing. <laughs> Kidding. Kind of, sort of. But, um, good vibes to you all. Good vibes to you all, my fellow Flossians out there. I'm, I'm sensing good things are coming. I'm sensing better days are coming. This country been so divided, man. Divided as a month. Oh, I got to I forgot. I got a sense of myself, kind of, sort of, because, um, YouTube been on that BS, man. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm still be me, but, you know, I gotta. They they playing me, man. Try to tripping on cordless phones, man, over nothing. Nothing. They done put an age restriction on my latest video, Like a Cheat Code. Make sure y'all go check out Like a Cheat Code right now. Go like, share that thing, Like a Cheat Code. Go check that out. Yeah, they put a. Talk about you gotta be 18 and up to watch this thing. Ridiculous. Absurdity. Malarkey. Poppycock. Okay, this this there's a lot of ass in the video. <laughs> this a there's a lot of ass. A lot of ass. A lot of cake. You know, a lot a lot of cheeks. There's a lot of cheeks in the video. <laughs> you know. But I'm an artiste. I couldn't cheat it. I couldn't cheat the vision. You know? I'm an artiste. But speaking of, you already know my new album, Perplex Portrait, is available on all digital platforms. And the people going crazy, man. They like your phones. This Jay crazy. This Jay Rocky. This Jay Rocky. This Jay crazy. I'll be getting rave reviews. So thank you for everyone that's, you know, been listening and, and liking and sharing and keep listening, liking and sharing. You feel me? But a question I've been hearing since my last album dropped from a few people like, yo, Floors, this joint crazy, yo, but what, what, what happened to that person? What happened to this person? Why I don't see you with that person? Why I don't see you with this person, you know? I talked a lot about it in my book, Turn Lights, Lemons, and the Milkshakes, flintflossy.com or Amazon. Go check you out. Go check you out. But yeah, I, I address it in a, in a chapter in my book. But I was like, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll chitty chat about it on the Floors cast, you know? So let me tell y'all one thing. All my dreamers out there, all my entrepreneurs, you know, small business owners, everybody who's coming up, every, anyone who wants to pursue a goal and has a, you know, this grandiose, this big picture in mind, and you know, you're pursuing it. And you have, you have this vision. You have this, this clear vision of where you're trying to, what you're trying to get to, you know, what, you, what you're trying to manifest. I learned one of the wackiest things you can do is try to force people to share a vision, a bigger picture. Because I'm going to tell you this now. Um, everyone has their own paths, but majority of the time when you're pursuing your dreams or you're pursuing a goal, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Like I said, everyone has their own path. You know, some people maybe. You know, it may be faster than others, but for the most part, it's a marathon. And for a marathon, you need endurance, right? And one of the most discouraging things while you're on your journey, while you're, you're on your marathon, is forcing someone to run with you that really don't want to be there, who ain't really trying to run, you know? <laughs> they, they either not trying to be there or they trying to sit on the side, sip water like they not, they really don't care to be a part of the journey see i'm a real loyal person right sometimes loyal to a fault but i'm 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 like extremely loyal when i rock with you i rock with you you know it's like it's just innate you know I, I'm, I'm loyal and i'm a i'm a sucker for talent so if i sense something in someone it could be this you know a sliver of talent it could be the list the most minute thing and I just you know I start thinking and you know my my, my mind the wheels start turning I, I could see something dope you know I, I have I have a vision for this person I'm old I could see it clear I will go hard for that person that's just how I am like you know um 
I will go hard. I will go super hard for that person. Like my thrill and what I really get gratification from is being the force behind someone, you know, uh, uh, shooting a superstar or <laughs> or um, or seeing someone's dreams manifest and knowing it's attributed to an idea that you had. And you know what I mean? In your head and you just materialized it and it really happened. And, and then seeing this person so happy, you know, just rapture, just it brings me joy. You know, and seeing other people bring happy, bring me joy. Like it sounds kind of corny, but it is what it is. You know, it, it, it it's true. I could write a hook or produce a song for someone and play the background and, and see them shine. It'll make me happy. You know, like every video y'all see, every video y'all saw, I edited from scratch. You know what I mean? People be like, yo, who's the editor? Like, there's a style to it. Like, I, <laughs> every single one, like, I sat my ass <laughs> on my laptop and edited from scratch. I used to edit for companies and stuff, so I just applied it to this situation. You know, I could play the back and, and let it be about the art. Like, just knowing people are tripping and, you know, um, evoking emotion. You know, from the visuals and, you know, everything. That's where I got my thrills, <laughs> you know. And one trait I had, I've always had, and it, it's not always healthy, is, you know, I will believe in someone, someone's potential so hard to the point, you know, to the point where I become so passionate that I may overlook or just not notice if they don't want the same thing. Who the thunk? <laughs> what do you know? What do you know? Who the thunk? <laughs> like, for real. And one of the worst things you can do across the board, that's just life. You know, whether it be business, relationships, whatever it may be, is forcing someone to be somewhere that they don't want to be. That's like a whack feeling. Now, there's a difference. Some people want to be part of the bigger picture they want to they want to share your vision they they just as passionate you know they just as equally passionate and but life <laughs> you know what i mean like whatever obligations they have you know it's it you know it, it's not it's prohibiting them from a lot in the time that they really want to dedicate to the situation and with situ and people like that, you still hold them down. You know what I mean? That's still you still you still you don't x them out, especially if they you know providing support in other ways, whether it be moral or just encouragement. And you work with them when you can. You know what I mean? Because they'll be right next to you twenty four seven if they had you know the time. You know, life is real. Like <laughs> you know, what, whatever it may be, everybody has their own situations. You know, so that's one type. Now the types you got to be mindful of is the ones that really don't care to be, you know, a part of the situation, a part of the bigger picture, a part of the vision. Um, they really don't have like a genuine love for it or, you know, or they don't share, share the same passion, but they don't want to miss out. And that's a big difference. There's a big difference between somebody that want to, that want to be there and somebody that just don't want to miss out. Big difference. Because I'm going to tell you this, like I said, when you're pursuing your goals, you're going to have ups and downs. Now, the up moments, everybody's going to be happy. You know, everybody's going to be, party. hey, man, drinks on me, man. Okay, hey, hey, hit me up, man. Party over here. Drinks on me. Like, <laughs> everybody's going to be happy, you know, in the up moments. But there's going to be some people that's going to be happy because they really see the vision growing. They're ecstatic about being a part of, of, of the bigger picture. And, you know, there's the types that they're just happy because they could kind of see how they could personally benefit from it. You know, it's more like a self-preservation kind of thing. So they're kind of happy for the wrong reason, you know? So when it when them down moments hit, because it's going to be some down moments. <laughs> oh, when them down moments hit, those going to be the first. It brings out the nasty out of them or you're going to see the ugly. Uh, and, or they may just be quick to abandon the situation like it just is what it is you know and let me tell y'all this let me tell y'all this man you want to find or try your hardest to align yourself with people 
on the same frequency. You know, on the same, you know, who's just who's just as passionate. And it's not, of course, it's not easy. You know, it, it's it's not easy, but you have to, you know, just you know, put a mental note on that. Not just anybody who want to be down for the get down. You love what you do, and they love what they do, and it coincides, and y'all equally yoked, and y'all on the same frequency. Like, try your hardest to align yourself with those types, because if you're not mindful of that. You can, you know, run into people that could that could hinder you from, you know, your maximum potential. Because when you're, you know, trying to convince people to or, you know, begging or com- or forcing people, you know, to to be a part of the situation, you may attract. You know, the wrong kind of energy and you devalue your vision. You devalue it. In my opinion, because if if they don't. If you are, if people around you that really don't appreciate it, you gonna look at it like, man, maybe what I got going on is maybe it's whack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wow, like maybe it's not as good as I thought. Who the thunk? Who the thunk? You know, um, and what it and what it can also do is, you know, make you vulnerable. Like, check this, right? I've always been the type to, you know, stand up for myself, right? Growing up. Um, I'm not a, you know, I was never a gangster or nothing like that, but you're not gonna you not gonna play me like baby fool. You're not gonna play me soft, you know? I grew up in the hood, but you know, I went to school, graduated from four year college, like I gotta, you know, so I have a, a balance to me, you know? So, you know, just because I may know how to articulate myself, you know, doesn't mean I'm some docile cat. Like you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna play me like baby fool. <laughs> you visit deals with me. But what's crazy is I was so married to a vision. I was so married to this bigger picture I had. Everybody everybody out there that's, you know, big dreamers, you know, when you have a, an idea, when you have a perfect picture in your head, you know what it is. You like, it got to be this. You know, you have certain people in positions. You like, no, this person got to be doing this. This person got to be doing this. You have this, this, this grandiose perfect picture in your head. And you, you, sometimes you can be so married to that, what you envision. You know, you have that tunnel vision, which is cool, but sometimes you got to look at your peripherals. Sometimes you be like, ah, oh, hold on, hold on, wait, that ain't right. Wait, hold on, I'm not, am I tripping? And if things go left, it happens. It happens, you know? That don't mean you should stop. You know, that don't mean you should stop. Just because it's not what you envision, it may be a better picture for you. You know, as long as you keep going. Your physics deals with me. But yeah, like I said, I was so married to this picture I had in my head. And, you know, I had so many people around me throughout my career, you know, behind the scenes and, you know, all types of stuff that and and, and a lot of times, like I said, could be loyal to a fault. It made me it made me vulnerable. And I was taking, you know, I was I was putting up with stuff I really shouldn't have. Like, you're like, what? I was tripping. <laughs> Yo, you think like, man. I was taking shit like that I shouldn't have, that I really wouldn't have, you know, that's not even in my, it's not even my DNA that I will put up with, but your vision, can, your, your dreams can make you vulnerable. If you think everything is going grave, you like, all right, man, I'm just going to look past that and just, but that ain't cool a lot of times because it can make you compromise your self-respect. And that's never a good thing. You physically deals me. Being I was loyal to a fault a lot of times, um... And, you know, so married to this picture I had in my head, I may have painted this narrative to some. Like. I need you, please, I need you for this vision, please. I need you, I need you, (laughs) you know, and I may have painted that narrative to some. And a lot of times when people feel that way, like, you know, oh, I, I really don't need, you know, you need me. Um, some people could take advantage of that. A lot of times you can see the ugly out of people. I shouldn't have to beg, you know, someone to, to come to a, to a studio session or beg someone to 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 do a show or and then and then you know wait I'm I'm begging you to do a show and I and I gotta break pay you it's like, what the fuck this, <laughs> I gotta beg you to pay you like this ain't making sense I'm like eh, this ain't making sense man and because I was but but it was because I was so loyal to this. I'm married to this picture I had in my head, you know? 
It's like, no, nothing, nothing can move. This is what it got to be. But what I learned was at times when, you know, it seemed like I should be happy. I was sad as my mother. I was like, why am I sad? Why am I not happy? I should be happy. Like my emotions, you know, like I was, you know, maybe Monday happy, Tuesday, eh, Wednesday sad, Thursday happy, somebody, you know, throw your energy off, sad again, Friday, like, why am I doing this? Saturday, the picture's clear, Sunday's like, someone done threw me off again, man. <laughs> And that was because the energy I was surrounding myself with was draining me, man. And it really wasn't, like I say, conducive to my spiritual well-being. Like I would just ponder, like, yo, I shouldn't feel this way. It shouldn't be this way. (laughs) You know, like any success that comes my way, I'm always thankful. I never try to take it for granted, you know. But what you may value, somebody may look at it like, eh, Side, so like I could be doing something better, and like I said, that could that could mess with you. And not only could it mess with you emotionally, it it could mess with your your business too. Because if you put investing your energy in a certain people that you know really don't really care or not don't care to be a part, like you could lose out on a lot, or it could it could diminish the quality of what you got going on. But yeah, in retrospect, I was like, yo, man, I was just taking certain things that I'm like, you look back, you be like, in hindsight, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know, um, like I remember one time in particular, I'm, I had a meeting with, um, you know, a couple people that was, you know, around me and in my camp or whatever it may be. I don't, I forgot what we were talking about in particular, maybe like ways to expand, grow, I, I, I don't remember what exactly, but. I remember one person got up and said, yo, I'm going to be real. Fuck the fame. Fuck the fans. I'm only around this for the money. I was like, wait. I said, wait, wait, hold on. This this person know I'm in the room? Like, (laughs) wait, 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 what? I took that personal. F the fans. Like, yo. I take that personal. You know, I love y'all, man. Like, y'all the reason why I'm here. You feel me? So I was like, wait, what? And that was a blatant sign to be like, yo, yo, Flores, you don't need to be rocking with this person like that. They don't they don't really care about a vision. Like, <laughs> they just told you. <laughs> he said, uh, F the fan, F the fame, F the fans. I'm here for the money. Like, hello, McFly. Hello, McFly. But. As I said, your passion makes, you know, my, my passion made me vulnerable. So the way I looked at it was like, yo, man, that person could feel the way they feel and they play their position. It's not going to affect how I how hard I go. But that's not good, in my opinion, you know, because even though the fact this person feels this way isn't directly affecting the process of you, you know, materializing your dreams or, you know, just pursuing this this ultimate goal you have, just the fact that they around feeling that way, like, yo, that's whack, son. <laughs> it's whack. And it's going to drain you without you even knowing. Tss, tss. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say I didn't tell you. You know, I may be excited to see the fans in another city. Ooh, I'm about to see the fans. I'm in. You don't feel it good, feel it great. You know, it's, you know, and someone next to you, you know, excited to get home like man i can't wait to get this over with you <laughs> like what? just like damn like whack not not good but you know one night i remember meditating and you know everyone has their own beliefs uh whatever it may be but you know me personally you know i believe in a higher power i believe in god and i was just like i just i prayed about it and i just meditated i said i said lord <laughs> i said lord please if there are certain people that's meant to be in my life across the board, so be it. If they're not meant to be in my life across the board, so be it. If they're not meant to be in my life, you know, for a period of time and, you know, reconnect or whatever, so be it. Just 
extract any negativity around me and let me attract people on my same frequency, you know, same vibe, just same passion. They may not be perfect because I'm not perfect, you know, but at the end of the day, they have the same vision or the same, We, you know, we just on the same fre frequency and our energies don't conflict to the point where I'm not happy, you know? And when I grasp that concept of if someone's meant to be around, they meant to be around. If not, they not. You know, I just accepted that and, you know, not try to force people to, you know, to be a part of force people to share passion like a bag, you know, like, nah, that, that's wax. And once I grasp that concept. Just letting go and just, you know, just keep going and how it pan out, you know, as long as you just keep going, I was really feeling good. I was feeling better. My happiness was more consistent. It wasn't like a roller coaster as much. You know, everybody still has their they days. It is what it is, you know, I'm not, but it was more consistent. And just because someone doesn't value what you got going on or they may take it for granted or, you know, they don't really, they, they, they have other they have other priorities other passions it don't make them bad people it don't make them bad people you know what i mean it's just just not not good for you or your situation you know um now nah, some people bad <laughs> some people straight cobra straight cobra <laughs> straight snakes hissy hissy man but um yeah not all of you know it, it, it that's not always the case though and once you accept that, understand that it just is what's supposed to be, like, things will flow, you know? So my advice, right? Like I said, I'm just, you know, I don't I don't have all the answers. I'm just talking what I talk, man. I keep it 1,000, like 999 plus one. Your physic deals me is say if your dream is to make movies, be a filmmaker, you know? Try to align yourself with somebody that, their passion is they want to be in movies. You want to make movies? They want to be in movies. You meet someone else that you want to make movies? They want to produce movies. And in my opinion, that way is you get the best out of people. You know, if you just, you know, get some sheep herder that, <laughs> that don't really care to act or something, and it's like, eh, you know, you may you may be getting what you want for that particular time, but just know they have an expiration date. But if they love what they do, like if it's a if it's a scene outside and it's below zero degrees and you filming a particular actress or actor, that that actor is going to be they're going to thug it out. They're going to be like, man, this is what this is what I'm supposed to do anyway. Like keep the cameras rolling. That sheep herder that you decided to just put the camera on and give him some lines, <laughs> oh, they gonna complain. They gonna like that. They gonna be they gonna be the first one to complain, and you know, and 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 just really make it known that they not trying to be there. It's never a perfect situation. It's it's easier said than done. I get it. Trust me, I get it. But don't be don't find yourself putting energy into someone that really doesn't care about what you got going on really doesn't share the same vision or share the same passion when you share a passion is it's y'all it's like okay boom if you win i win because this is what i want to do anyway and that's what you want you know so there it is y'all another episode of floors cast where i talk my shit isn't it and i give a does a damn your fizz deals me baby <laughs> yeah i appreciate y'all man keep keep watching keep liking Keep sharing and all that, you know. Um, and of course, shout out to my patrons out there, man. Picking up traction, picking up traction, baby. I appreciate y'all. Y'all names are all up in the credits, all up in the ending credits. I appreciate y'all for Riz a deal, you know. For those who haven't, you know, you know, facts with the floors cast on Patreon, go ahead, do that now. Click that thing right now, man. Flintflossy.com. Stay posted like sticky notes on there. Real Flint Floss on all social media platforms. My book, Turn Lights, Lemons, and the Milkshakes, available now. Um, yeah, my album, you know, Perplex Portrait, man, man, make, make, keep listening, keep sharing that thing, you know, working on all the videos right now. And speaking of videos, go check out Like a Cheat Code, man. Uh, 
I tell me, did I really deserve the 18 plus stamp on there? Come on, it was, it was some, it was some cheeks on there, but you know, I, I couldn't cheat it, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next time, baby. I'm out.